Hi there, my name is Jack Brown. I am the subject leader for A-Level Maths. Uh, hopefully, as I go through uh, these slides with you, I'll be able to answer all of your questions, but uh, feel free uh, to contact me on jkb at barton.ac.uk. Uh, email me with any questions that you have if I don't answer them here, okay? So let's begin. So uh, first thing uh, is that you need to understand that I expect you already have some kind of preconceived ideas about what uh, maths will be because you've been studying it for several years uh, at GCSE level. So A-level maths will continue uh, and flesh out and extend your understanding from GCSE maths um, considerably uh, in the uh, region of algebra. Uh, and we have three main sections uh, for A-level maths, uh, pure mathematics, mechanics, and statistics, okay? So what you'll see on this slide is uh, the entry requirements that we have for A-level maths, um, and also the format that the assessment takes. So it's 100% exam. There's no coursework or anything like that. There were just three two hour exams at the end of two years, okay? Now the first exam is wholly pure mathematics. So um, I'll go through some of the topics uh, in the next slide on that, but uh, that's really where the majority of your algebra content is. And then the second paper is half and half pure and mechanics. Now the mechanics uh, work that we look at uh, strongly interacts with uh, physics. So if you're considering doing physics as an A-level, uh, then they work well together. Doesn't matter if you're not, but they do work well together. And then the third paper is uh, one half pure and one half statistics. Okay, so in total, mechanics and statistics both take up one sixth of the course each, and pure is two thirds in examined content. Now, the statistics that you learn, uh, that links in very well with uh, all sorts of courses, uh, biology, psychology, all, all sorts. I mean, um, anything where you are analyzing any data at any point, okay, and you need to understand what that data is saying, it's useful to have those statistical analysis tools that we will learn on the course. Now, the course as in... Um, Topic-wise, uh, and I expect you're quite interested to know kind of what topics uh, we look at. Um, so I've already talked about how uh, it's split up into pure mathematics, mechanics, and statistics. Pure mathematics, as I said, is uh, a lot of algebra, uh, coordinate geometry. So that's looking at straight line equations and circles, for example. Um, so equations of circles, but we also do uh, quadratics, cubics, cortics, um, reciprocal graphs. Um, we also go into trigonometry, so we'll extend your trig knowledge. Um, look, you know, you will have learnt the sine rule and the cosine rule at uh, GCSE level, um, but we will also learn about what those graphs, what those functions look like and all their behaviours, how to solve more complicated equations, trigonometric identities, um, we'll also learn about the trigonometric functions, uh, cosec, sec, and cot, which you won't have met before. Um, also not listed there, we look at exponentials and logarithms. Um, a lot of that is permeates through the course. And calculus uh, is uh, a biggie. So that's really talking about uh, differentiation and integration. So really the study of rates of change, effectively. Um, and that is a very large topic, which really goes and will extend you throughout the two years uh, and can get picked up at degree level in quite a big way. Mechanics, uh, we look at kinematics, so um, displacement, uh, velocity and acceleration, uh, SUVAT equations, things like that. Uh, forces, Newton's laws, uh, moments is a topic that we meet in the second year. Um, then statistics, um, lots of probability will be involved. Uh, we look at different types of distributions, so both discrete and continuous distributions. Uh, the normal distribution is an example of a continuous distribution. 
And we also look at hypothesis testing, uh, which is an important area of study. So you understand how um, scientific and statistical tests are done and how they can be concluded. The question I always get asked um, every year is, what sort of calculator do we need? So I thought I'd make sure that we I cover that here. Uh, the calculator that you must purchase, okay, is the Casio Classwiz FX991EX, okay? So that is the must-have um, that you will need for A-level maths. It, it's If you haven't met this model before, it looks very similar to a GCSE scientific calculator, Casio calculator, okay? Works in very much the same way. I think I've got an example here, actually. Uh, so it looks like this, okay? So um, this is the one that you need. Um, the reason why we need that one rather than uh, a more basic version is that it contains a lot more functionality, the statistics content. Um, it can do integration. It can do a bit of differentiation for us. It's got loads of stuff in it uh, that will be useful for you if you're doing maths, um, but also if you're doing further maths, that's the calculator as well that you'll need. Uh, we don't need you to go out and buy uh, an incredibly expensive graphical calculator. Uh, we just do it solely using that one. Okay. So why why should you choose A-level maths? So I would say that if you enjoyed maths at GCSE level, okay, um, then definitely consider A-level maths as an option just as one out of pure enjoyment. Um, it says uh, facilitating subject there, and that is true. A-level maths um, is one of the most popular A-levels uh, in the country. And the reason being is that it goes so well with other courses. So it's called a facilitating subject because there's not a great deal of people that do A-level maths that go on to do a maths degree. Some do, but not a lot do, okay? They use it as a support, uh, usually for other degree courses. So uh, be it biology, chemistry, physics, uh, medicine, um, you know, I, I uh, did A-levels in maths, English literature, and history because they were A-levels that I enjoyed doing, okay? Um, and then I went on to do a maths degree. So really, maths is kind of like um, your door opener. OK, it gets you through uh, to the door, through the door to whatever course you want to do afterwards. Uh, facilities wise, we're up in the Nobel building. Uh, excellent building. Uh, we've got um, the majority of the top floor, the maths uh, and computer science department. Um, and you also have uh, opportunities to access uh, national competitions, UKMT, for example. Um, but we also do uh, lunchtime workshop sessions that run with um, the step papers uh, and Tamura. Uh, so these are entry papers for uh, certain universities. Uh, another thing that I think that is useful to pinpoint at this stage is the amount of support that is on offer from our department. Um, all of the people in our department are very approachable, um, all on a first name basis. Uh, but we also run lunchtime workshop sessions every day of the week that you would be able to come and get support from. So at any stage, please do ask us for any help at all. Uh, we are here to support you through your two years of study and make it enjoyable, okay? Um, if you've got any more questions, then maybe this link uh, will hold them for you. Uh, but remember, you can email me on jkb at barton.ac.uk if you have any further questions.